Hi, Sid Dobrin here with Inventive Fishing. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about bait knives. Now, if you're like me, when it comes to fishing, you're also probably a big knife fan. I love knives. I've got them all over the place. But when it comes to mundane pedestrian activities like cutting bait, you usually don't want to reach for your best knives. You don't want to reach for that good fillet knife. You don't want to reach for that good buck knife. And so generally most of us have that pile of crappy old rusty knives that we use for bait knives. And I'm sure that almost all of us who've ever been in any tackle shop anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world for that matter have seen that bucket of bait knives that they've always got right by the cash register as that sort of last minute impulse buy object of, oh crap, I'm going to need a bait knife and then there are a couple of bucks. And the whole marketing attempt is there, you're going to use it once, throw it away, and the next time you're in the bait shop, you're going to go, oh crap, I need a bait knife. And so I have a bunch of those rusty old bait knives laying around. I'm sure you've got them in your knife holder on your boat. And they really are pretty worthless when it comes to being a knife and even using them more than once when you're cutting bait, particularly when you're cutting big trolling baits or uh, lots of herring or any of the other kinds of hard bone fish. Uh, but a couple of months ago, I was in our local uh, tackle store, and I came across uh, this bait knife also sitting in a bucket at the cash register. Now, the cool thing about this knife, it's made by a company called Evolution Pro uh, Products Incorporated out of Pompano Beach, Florida. That's a knife. Now, Evolution has a bunch of different kinds of products, most of which uh, involve some kind of nice solid handle, like their pliers, their Gorilla pliers are incredible. They also make rods uh, that are incredibly sensitive, very flexible, and they build all their plastics with the idea of them really lasting a lifetime. So the intent is that this bait knife isn't a throwaway bait knife. Now granted, in terms of cost, this isn't your $1.50 at the cash register bait knife. You have to actually uh, shell out an entire five bucks for this knife. So it's actually a very reasonably priced bait knife. But uh, the folks over at Evolution have done a couple of things to this knife to make it a knife worth having. So the first thing you can see immediately is that this bait knife comes with a built-in scabbard. And it's a really smartly designed scabbard in that it has a locking place on it so that the scabbard doesn't come off uh, when it's not in use. As you can see, it's also uh, vented so that you have a lot less rust on the blade. Uh, the blades are tempered steel. Uh, they are also uh, have this nice rough bone cutter on the top. And one of my favorite parts of the scabbard blade design is this little notch right here that they've designed as a line cutter. And so it's a very, very useful put the line in, grab the line, and use the line cutter and snap. Um, you'll notice though there are two things that I would argue about the scabbard uh, that I wish Evolution had done to this knife. One is you'll notice that the lock is a thumb release knock lock, but it's on the blade side. And so if you just push up with your thumb, your thumb is going to graze that blade. And so I don't like the safety end of that design, which ends up making this a two-handed utensil rather than a simple one-handed off utensil. Because if I'm holding bait or if I'm holding fish and I want to get to the knife quickly, I can't get that scabbard off unless I'm using two hands. The other thing that I wish they had built into this design, whether in the scabbard or in the, uh, the handle, is to have a belt clip. There's no place to clip this. The only thing you can do with this is leave it laying around. However, part of the smart design on the handle of this uh, bait knife is you'll see that they've got three different size holes and then a notch at the end of that larger hole which actually makes it perfect for adding a lanyard. And so I actually wear one around my neck when I'm uh, spending a lot of time on the boat and make it easier for easy access. Um, the other thing I find about this three hole design here is that when you're tying knots, it makes a great hook holder for pulling knots tight. Um, that way you're not straining the hook and you're also not having to put the hook someplace unsafe. Um, so I really like that part of the design. Now the blade itself is a great design of the blade, like I said. It's got a full sharp edge almost the entire length. The bait knife is a four inch blade. It's not too large. It's not as big as a fillet knife. It also doesn't have the flexibility of a fillet knife, which is really good for when you're really hacking away at bait 
It's also got this nice little bone saw up top for when you're cutting the necks on or the vertebrae on larger fish. Um, interestingly also, given that these are coming out of a company in Pompano Beach, Florida, I was thrilled to find in our local bait store that they come in the glory of orange and blue. Uh, I have seen them in many stores in green and orange for those of you of the uh, Miami or FAMU family. Um, I have also seen them in LSU colors and um, to be honest though I found it in this color and I'm not sure why Evolution decided to make a lesser version of their knife. I will say that soon after Evolution started selling these knives um, I saw them popping up in tackle stores all over the place and in fact um, I noticed in Outdoor World that they now have their own version with almost an identical mold design. Uh, the only two distinctions that I've been able to find in the design have been the Outdoor World logo on the, um, on the scabbard and then also stenciled on the blade. But other than that, these are the exact same knives available at Outdoor World as well as through Evolution. Uh, personally, uh, I've seen more of the Evolution ones around simply because they're available in bait and tackle stores everywhere I go. Just like the Evolution blade, the Outdoor blade um, is a premium grade uh, steel. These things do last. I've been using them for the past couple of months and have had no complaints other than those two specificities regarding the opening over the blade end and the desire for a belt clip. However, as I said, that is alleviated through the addition of a lanyard. Anyway, check out the Evolution Blades. They're well worth having on your boat in your tackle box. Um, you can see that I end up buying several at a time and just throwing them on the boat, throwing them in tackle boxes. I actually keep a couple on my desk at all times. Uh, it's just a knife absolutely worth the five dollars that you're going to put into it. Thanks so much for watching this gear review. I hope you watch the other gear reviews on the Inventive Fishing site and check out all of the resources available on InventiveFishing.com. Fish on! Can't.